Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Charisma Walker and today I'm just going to be doing a quick chit chat get ready with me and I'm just going to tell you also a story time video in the same setting. So let's go. Okay, so first off, I just want y'all to excuse how I look right now because I literally just like woke up and I'm tired, but I just wanted to get ready early so that I'll have more time to make videos. So yeah, it's like when the sun goes down, y'all, I can't really film nothing because everybody be home and then they be making so much noise. Excuse my pimples. It'll go away. <laughs> but let me just tell you guys about this story time because this story time is so freaking funny. To me, it's fr so freaking funny. But basically, this story time is about how I got catfished by Jack Jackie. I can't say his name, y'all. Jacques, Jacques, whatever his name is, y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But I was catfished by him, and <sighs> it was so funny. Okay, let's just let's just get into the video. I'm not good at multitasking. <laughs> okay, let me start over. Let's go. I never really knew who he was, and this was when he first came out. So like, no, actually, no one knew who he was. So I'm like getting a message from this guy and his name Jackie Jackies. But am I if I said his name wrong, don't fight me in the comment section below. D don't do it. Cause I got some things for y'all too. But okay. So he had kicked me. This was when kick was like the stuff it was popping. Like everybody wanted to be on kick. So he had messaged me on kick and he was basically like hitting me up saying I was cute and stuff like sweet talking me. And so I'm like wondering like who is this dude like I don't know who you is you act like you know me you're trying to sweet talk me just say hello like dang we don't need all that extra basically he he kept talking or whatever and we kind of started to click and then he started saying that he was in the music industry so I'm like that's so nice like I like guys who have something going for themselves like I'm not that type of girl who just gonna date anybody if I see that you got something going for yourself then yeah so I'm like okay like he got kitty cat Y'all, every time I do a video, he want to cry for my attention. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, we just going to have to ignore my cat in the background meowing because he want attention. But back to what I was saying. I think I left off with kick. You hear him, y'all? He flew me. What you want? You want to play with you with that string? Don't look around like you don't know. You up there meow like you crazy. Lord, we just gonna have to ignore my cat meowing like he's crazy. But back to what I'm saying, I kind of like guys who have something going for themselves. So I'm like, okay, he got his own, you know, uh, music and all that. I want to check it out. So he give me the name. So I hook up the name and on YouTube, and I'm like, dang, he got a lot of views on his YouTube channel. Like he got so many, and he is so good. Like he is so freaking talented. I think the one that I watched was the, was it Girls Love Beyonce? I think it's Girls Love Beyonce. It was that song. And I'm like, dang, this is so nice. Like, even the video quality is really, really great. Like, it is so good. And so I'm like, dang, you are very, very talented and this and that. And I'm not the type of girl who would, like, talk to somebody for their money at all. I just like, I like to support people and I like people who actually, you know, got something going for themselves because I don't want to be with a low life. So after that, I'm like, dang, that is so nice. And then he gave me his Instagram. He was feeling a little bit too confident now because, you know, he gave me his Instagram. So I had went on his Instagram and he had around over more than like 30,000 probably um, on Instagram at this point. And I'm just like, ain't no way. Ain't no way that this boy who got 30K or however much he had is trying to talk to me through kick. Be be smart. Be smart, okay, you guys. If you're gonna catfish somebody, be realistic. You is not gonna be kicking me, okay? If you got 30k, if you got a business, a manager, you is not gonna be kicking me, okay? Do a cell phone app. I'm like, you know what? This is kind of fishy. Like, I'm not going to fall for it. You know, I was looking so stupid because, you know, I told my friends about him. Like, I'm like, this boy is so cool. Like, he is so cute. He is, like, everything. 
So I'm just like, I'm telling my friends about it, bragging about him. And I told them his name and all that. They didn't even know who he was either. So we just all like, ooh, you got a, you know, you got a crush and all this. Y'all might as well just go ahead and start dating type thing. So I'm looking stupid. And, you know, I, I figure out that, you know, he probably is not. You just want to keep this up for my video, don't you? Y'all. I can't, I can't, I basically came to the conclusion that he probably not who he say he is. Like, I'm not some dumb girl on Catfish that claim that they talking to somebody, a celebrity. Like, I'm not dumb. So, I'm like, you know what, let me see if this boy is really, really an entertainer. Like, let me see if he really who he say he is. So, I'm like, can you send a picture? Can you send a picture? <laughs> so he like, um, yeah, I send you a picture, da da da. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we basically, you know, start talking more after that, and he sent me a picture, and I'm like, okay, cool, like that picture is decent, but I want a selfie because he didn't send me a regular picture. He just sent me a picture that was like photography type thing. So I'm like, no, nah, I want actually, I want a regular picture. Like, send me a selfie or something. So he like, okay, cool. So he sent me another picture and it looked the quality of it looks like looks like it was taken by a photographer and it was like a close up in his face like a selfie but you could tell what kind of camera he used it wasn't like a phone camera so I'm like okay let me see if this boy is really lying to me right now because ain't no way he took this good picture like this off no iPhone iPhone. Everybody wanted an iPhone and iPhones was like wasn't as good as they are now. So I'm like, ain't no way he took this picture off of freaking a freaking iPhone. Like it's no way he took it off of an iPhone. So I'm like, no, let me check on his Instagram. So I scroll, I keep scrolling down, trying to see, trying to find it. And guess what I see? Behold, a picture. A picture that matches completely with the picture he had from like months and months. I'm like, no. You gotta be messed up. I'm not stupid. So I'm like, why is you sending me pictures from off of your Instagram? I said a selfie. I don't want that. So he's like, I'm just, you know, trying to send you a picture. Like, I'm around all my friends right now, so I can't really send you nothing. So I'm like, have one of your friends send it for you. He talking about, my phone camera kind of broke right now. And I said, why you just didn't send it from the beginning? But since you got all those friends around you, can you get one of them to take that picture for you? He 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 took a long time to reply, y'all. He took so long to reply. And it was so funny because he knew he got caught. So <clears throat> a few like hours later, because yeah, he did take a long time. Because I think he was trying to plan out what he was going to do. So, I had asked him, can you take that picture? Hours later, he hit me up by, like, um, I got the picture for you. So, I'm like, okay, cool. So, tell me why, y'all. He sent me a picture with just his freaking, um, I know I put a lot on, but it kind of, like, this makeup kind of soaks into my skin a little bit and absorbs, so... It'll be okay when I blend in. He sent me the picture, and he only got his freaking body in it. Like, just his, you know, chest. And no, he had a bird chest, y'all. Just his chest and his, um, a little bit of his neck. And just, it was just, the background was so dirty, and it was so dark, you couldn't even tell who it was. And I'm like, this my no selfie, boy. A selfie look like this, like... The phone is like this to your face. You send me a full body picture and you only got your face in it. So how am I supposed to know who you are? So he, I am John Please, this and that. You're going to be feeling sorry, this and that. I'm like, boy, I do not want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. Like, I'm not no, I'm not stupid, y'all. I am not stupid. I'm not going to fall for that. Like, not that I'm, I'm not trying to say that, like, I'm not good enough to be talking to a celebrity or anything like that. Because things happen, things happen in this world where we can't really explain. But 
I'm not the type of person who's going to doubt my ability to be talking to a celebrity. But at the same time, it's like you have to be more realistic. If you find that a celebrity is hitting you up on social media um, so freely like that, and they have that many followers and that many, you know, girls trying to talk to them. You got to be really, really realistic about who you're talking to. Because ain't no way he's going to be trying to talk to you through Kit or Facebook. He'll be trying to talk to you in a way where it's like business associated. So that you can actually probably believe them. Like, they're not going to just do that. And for him to, like, try to send me a fake, you know, those pictures off of his page... It just let me know that he probably, he was definitely not who he said he was. He was just trying to, you know, cake it or something. I don't know what he was trying to do, y'all. Because I definitely wasn't going to send no pictures to nobody. Got me messed up. You not going to make my stuff go worldwide. I'm not no Kim Kardashian. Just watch out, ladies. Just make sure y'all doing the right thing. Do not freaking believe anybody on social media. Especially y'all young girls. Like... Y'all believe anything anybody tell y'all. If I told y'all that the sky was orange, y'all look up, it'll be blue, but to y'all it'll be orange. Like, what type of mess is that? Yeah, that, that story sound was so freaking funny. Like, he really thought he wasn't going to get caught. He really thought he wasn't going to get caught. But anyways, today, like, when I first woke up, have you ever been through something where, like, it causes you to have nightmares over and over and over again not something that's like real severe but like just like something that's impacted you throughout life and you kind of like carried it with you a little bit and like you don't even be thinking about it you don't think about that person you don't think about what you've been through but it still gives you nightmares um the same type of nightmares too so if like anybody know what to do about that or if y'all ever been through that before let me know in the comment section below because i um i keep having nightmares about the same person over and over and over again and it's really really irritating because it's like i want to really move on with my life and i've been doing my my best to um work through it and you know i've been i've been doing real good it's like have you ever had that feeling where you're just so happy that someone is out of your life that's how i feel like i just feel so blessed and and I appreciate that this person is out of my life for good because they were just causing nothing but de just depressed moods. And it's just, I could not take it. I definitely could not take it anymore. I'm going to set my face, y'all, because I know I look a little bit too oily. If y'all ever been through that before, just let me know in the comment section below because... I keep having nightmares and I don't want to have nightmares about this person no more. Like I'm trying to move on with my life. I don't got time to be wasting my life on somebody who don't have a life. So I need to like figure out why I keep having the same dreams over and over and over again. Like out of nowhere too. Like I don't even be thinking about this person no more. But yeah, I hope you guys like this story time video, this chit chat, get ready with me. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you comment down below about this story time video of when you got catfished or just about the nightmare thing because I'm tired of having nightmares. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day, you guys.